Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the basics of DaVinci Resolve, one of the most powerful free video editing programs available. Whether you're brand new to editing or just switching over to Resolve, this guide will help you get started quickly. We're going to cover everything from installing the software to making basic edits, adding transitions, effects, and exporting your final video. Let's jump right in. First things first, let's get DaVinci Resolve installed. Head over to the official website, which I'll link in the description, and download the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Fill out the information to register and download Resolve. Once it's downloaded, follow the installation prompts for your operating system. It may take a bit of time to complete, but it's pretty straightforward. Now that it's installed, open it up and you'll see the project manager, where you can create new projects or open existing ones. All right, let's create a new project. Just click new project, give it a name and hit create. Before we dive into the editing, I want to quickly mention the different pages you'll see at the bottom of your screen. There's the media page where you'll manage your files, the cut page where you can organize your clips, the edit page, which is where we'll spend most of our time editing the video together, the Fusion page is used to create effects. The Color page is used for color grading and applying LUTs. And the Fairlight page is for audio. The Deliver page is where you'll be exporting the final video. Don't worry, for this video, we're just sticking to the basics and working in the Edit page. The first thing you'll want to set up is your project settings, like the frame rate and resolution. To do this, go to File, then project settings. In the master settings, the timeline resolution will show you your resolution. Currently, it's set to 1920 by 1080. But if you wanted to change it to something like 4K, change it to 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD. For this project, I'll leave it as 1920 by 1080. If you're using vertical footage, check the vertical resolution box. Your timeline frame rate can be set here. For a more cinematic video, select 23.97 or 24. For most videos, you can use 29.97 or 30. For fast paced videos like sports or video games, you can pick 59.94 or 60. For this project, I'll leave it as 23.97. Once that's done, you can start importing your footage. Right-click anywhere in the media pool and click Import Media. Select the clips you want to use and click Open. If your footage doesn't match the frame rate set in the project settings, you'll see this message. To keep the frame rate you've set in the project settings, click Don't Change. To match the frame rate of the clips you'll be using, click Change. There are two ways to create a new timeline. The first way is to select a clip, drag and drop it into the timeline panel. This will create one video layer and one audio layer. The second way is to right click in the media pool, go to timelines and then create new timeline. Give this a name. If you want to use the same resolution and frame rate as your project, check Use Project Settings. If you'd like to change it, uncheck it and go to Format. Change your timeline resolution here and change your frame rate here. Click Create. Now, let's get those clips into the timeline. Click and hold Control to select multiple files. Drag the clips from the media pool into the timeline down here. To create a second layer, simply place a clip above the first layer. This will create a second video and audio layer. The top layer will be shown, hiding whatever is on the bottom layer. The layer can be disabled to show what's underneath. For audio, all of the layers that have an audio track will play simultaneously. You can choose to solo a layer, which will mute all of the other layers, or you can mute a layer which will play all of the remaining layers that have an audio track. 
Once the clips are on the timeline, you can start making basic edits. To trim a clip, simply hover your mouse at the end or beginning of the clip until you see the trim tool. Then click and drag to adjust the length. Select the blank space, then click delete on your keyboard to bring the clips together. If you need to cut a clip, use the blade tool. The shortcut is B. Then click where you'd like to make the cut. Click A on your keyboard to switch back to the selection tool, or simply click the selection button. To delete the segments you don't need, select the clip, click backspace to remove the clip and replace it with a blank clip, or click delete on your keyboard to delete the clip and bring the rest of the clips closer together. Once you've edited the rest of the clips, you can add some transitions and effects. DaVinci Resolve has a bunch of built-in transitions that are super easy to apply. To add a transition, click the Effects button to open the Effects Library. Under Video Transitions, drag and drop the transition at the start, end, or in between two clips. You can adjust the length of the transition by hovering your mouse at the start or end of the transition until you see this icon. Then click and drag it to adjust the length. Want to add some effects? You can find those under Effects or Open Effects. Just like transitions, you can drag and drop them onto the clip. Clips with effects on them can be identified with the Effects label. To edit the properties of this effect, select the clip and go to the Inspector panel. Look for the effect under the Effects tab. You can adjust the effect here. You can also adjust the properties of a clip by going into the Video tab. You can zoom the clip in and out, adjust the position, rotate the clip, and more. To reset the setting, click the Reset button. Or click the Reset All button to reset everything back to default. Once your edit is done, it's time to export. Go to the Deliver page and you'll see a bunch of options. For most videos, choosing the YouTube 1080p setting will work just fine. Give the file a name, then click Browse to select the save location. Double check the resolution and frame rate. You can leave the format as MP4 and the video codec as H.264. Click Add to Render Queue, then when you're ready to render the file, click Render All and let DaVinci do its thing. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to DaVinci Resolve. I hope this video helped you get comfortable with the basics. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.